Hi everyone, welcome back to You, Me and the Family, or if you're new here, welcome. Hi, I'm Hannah, a mum of four, ranging from 15 years down to a two-year-old, and we live in the southeast of England. Today I've only got a little haul for you from Aldi. I had an hour to kill while my car was having some new tyres put on over the road. So I nipped in there just to grab a few little fresh bits that I needed to do the kids' pack-ups because we didn't need a whole lot and I needed some milk and a, a meat joint for our Sunday dinner. Um, I do apologise, I have got the washing machine going on in the background and the stove behind me has got a big saucepan ready to put that boiled bacon in. But, yeah, I'll start show you what I've got. I do have the receipt it's behind me. I ended up spending 46 78 I haven't had chance to write the prices on everything because I've literally come in, had to make the kids lunches, look after Steve because he's not very well and then I've got to get dinner on as well. So that's how much everything cost and what I paid. And now I'll show you what I actually got. So I got a cucumber for the pack ups and sandwiches. The becoming usual item is um, chopped up apple for Shane's pack lunch. For anyone that's new and doesn't know, Shane is my 13-year-old son with autism. He has just had a train track fitted and he can't take just a normal apple to school now because he can't bite into it. So these are the next best thing. Yes, they're a bit pricey, but it means getting fruit into him. I don't mind paying it. I got a head of broccoli for our Sunday dinner. So I've got to chop that up in a minute. Excuse me. I've got a big joint of gammon unsmoked gammon joint it cost me 11.84 and it is huge but it will do us two dinners this week and some sandwiches as well so we'll get our money's worth there i got one carton of orange juice on the recommendation from the doctor steve is very very ill at the moment he's suspected to have scarlet fever or measles or something he can barely move because he's hurting so much headache sore throat cough Temperature of 39.8 and now he's covered head to toe in a rash. So we saw the doctor at the hospital yesterday. I was up there three hours and I've got to take him to see my GP tomorrow for them to run blood work and to actually diagnose what's wrong with him. But he, uh, he's not a very well bunny. So orange juice is for him. Two bottles of golden syrup for baking and the kids want pancakes. So I had to make sure I have plenty of that. And then I've got some strawberry converse to go into some jam tarts that I want to make. And then Aldi's version of Nutella at the bottom. Because I can't justify paying £3.99 for a tub of Nutella at the same size. When this tastes exactly the same and the kids won't be able to taste the difference. I managed to pick up two packets of wonky raspberries with 30% off. Perfect for Nathan. So he'll be tucking into them for lunch. I got two packets of corned beef for packed lunch sandwiches. And then one packet of ham for the sandwiches. Chloe came with me this morning to help me. And she insisted on putting these in the trolley. To see if they can square up to Frere Rocher. Because she absolutely loves Frere Rocher. And she thinks these won't be as good. But she still wanted to try. I think that was just an excuse to get chocolate. Two packets of seafood sticks. She was adamant she wanted seafood sticks. So she got one packet for her. And then she's going to try and encourage Steve to eat some. To try and keep up his strength. Two packets of Ritz Bakery Minis. These are just like the uh, mini cheddars that I get for the kids' pack-ups. Six in a pack, but they're Ritz crackers, so it's going to add a bit of something different to their pack-ups. Some mini pork cocktail sausages for Nathan. I just keep these in the fridge for an easy lunch and a bit of a picky snack for him. I've got some red grapes for the pack lunches. I will be getting more during the week but I literally I could only get what I could carry back to the car a four pint of full fat milk I got these for Steve's crisp to go with Steve's Christmas present I thought they were Reese's peanut butter Christmas trees I wasn't really paying attention but they're Aldi's version 
Hopefully they'll be just as good. Two bunches of bananas for Nathan during the week. He absolutely loves his bananas. Chloe chose some daily mouthwash called Mint. That was less than 50p, guys. I mean, you can't go wrong for that. And then down here, some wonky carrots so that I can cook them up for our Sunday dinner. I was on the phone briefly as we walked in. And as I was in there for like two minutes on the phone, Chloe managed to put this tear and share chocolate brioche roll in my trolley. As well as the eight pan of chocolates. So the kids will have them for breakfast one day this week. And they'll probably have this today after dinner. If I can stop Chloe from taking it into her bedroom. And then I got two packets of the Metro Italian style rolls. We did try Tesco sub rolls this last week. They don't stand a chance against these. So I picked up two. Because um, Shane absolutely loves them and Steve. But... Chances are Steve won't be going to work this week. He's going to be signed off by the doctor because he's really not well. So they'll be just at the house and pack ups for Shane and Hayley. So that is everything that I bought. It doesn't look a lot, but then I have got that giant meat joint there and then the sandwich meat and then these chocolates and all that lot. But, you know, inflation's putting the prices of everything up. Just got to get what you can when you can, really. Um, that's everything. I've got to get my gammon joint in the boy in the saucepan to cook for our dinner. If you like this video, please hit the like button. If you are new here and have seen a few of my videos and like what I do, please subscribe. I'd love to have you part of the YouTube family. It really would, does mean a lot to me that I am near on 750 subscribers already. It really does mean a lot and I love all the comments. And messages that people are giving me really does fill my heart with warmth. Thank you very, very much. But <laughs> here comes the but. If you have watched this video and you do like it, please subscribe. I'd love to have you part of the YouTube family. I really would. I have set myself the mammoth goal and I'm working really hard to get to that. I would like to reach a thousand subscribers by Christmas. That is my Christmas present to myself. So... If you could help me out, hit the subscribe button and that notification bell every time I upload a video, YouTube will tell you. So I will stop rambling. I'll let you get on with your Sunday afternoon. Although it's a very cold, wet one down here. What's it like where you guys live? Write in the comments. Tell me what the weather is like where you are. I've got to get this gammon in the saucepan and get the veg prepped and go check on my fifth child, Steve. <laughs> Take care, guys. Bye.